All right, what's up, Reactor Eyes? I'm John. I'm here with Frank and Peter, and you guys have done iconic roles, especially for you know Optimus Prime and Megatron. So, doing doing the movie roles, I just want to ask, like, if there's a difference between the animation and the films. Animation and film. Well, going back a long time, in '84, 1984, G1 for all you G1s, small little TV box. Little cartoon in faded colors. Doing for <laughs> <laughs> and meets the eye. <laughs> Autobots transform and roll out. A little higher in tone, everything else, you know. And then Megatron sounded like I am Megatron G1. You'll never accomplish it, Megatron. Remember all that? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Everything was intense <laughs> like this to fill that little box, and then. Of course, you know, the movie com comes along, and Michael Bay said to me, he said, Peter, um, you're going to be 45 feet tall. <laughs> you know, so we were in an airplane <laughs> hangar down in Long Beach, an airplane hangar, and they have uh, a picture of Optimus Prime on top of a crane, so all the actors could relate to, to uh, where the voice was coming from, 45 feet tall. And... Uh, at first, you know, I he wanted to know, you know, can you make it bigger? Can you make it bigger? Because the character is very big. And I said, well, he's going to sound pretty much the way he sounded. And then I thought about it, you know. I saw this mock-up, and I went, no, it's got to be, it has to be lower. It has to be lower. It had to be deeper. Instead of all the yelling we did in G1, you know. Mm -hmm. Autobots! You know, <laughs> no, no, it's Autobots transform. You know, a little... Deeper, deeper yeah. Yeah, yeah it, the, um, the amazing leap of 30 years, you know, the technology. Um, you know, and, and we had such a great, rabid fan base for G1. Um, as you mentioned yourself, you know, uh, it, it was really, really, really good, I think, for, for its time. The stories and the fun. But the transition now to the Blu-ray, to the colors... The the sounds and what Michael Bay does with the you know with the pyrotechnics obviously, and um, the places that you get to visit you know you're so limited on that G1 screen even though we went well we went to Torrance we went to <laughs> Reseda but I mean you know now you you're going with the Knights to the Round Table and I mean so many adventures and Cybertron really looks interesting and. Um, the, just the technology alone makes it just, uh, the, the palette just goes, whoa. Vivid. Vivid, yeah. Vivid. And, and, uh, <clears throat> and the same thing with Peter when he was saying, uh, you know, to get this voice for the character. Uh, Megatron has changed so much from the G1 voice now being the size that he is also had to sort of equal the size of Optimus Prime. So... My G1 voice now began to have to transform into more of a larger voice. I am Megatron. But kind of like a nice <laughs> an iceberg trying to make its way to yeah. the right? <laughs> If you notice that when Peter did his Optimus Prime, it was so much deeper, but he wasn't much louder. And if you do that voice and you move in on the microphone, if you watch him work, he can just make the ceilings drop sawdust. And he's not <laughs> really screaming or yelling, he's just doing this very deep voice. And it's the same thing with sound, uh, uh, sound wave. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up, because I was about to Well, I do <laughs> want to talk about myself, too. <laughs> The king. I call him the oh, king. Well, okay. Please, please. Thank you very much. So that was very sweet. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. But it enters, it's true in technique. And yeah, then technique. Uh, sound wave, if you come up on the microphone and you do this. I, I remember this and I'm telling you the story because of Michael's, my first working with Michael on mm -hmm. sound wave. He says, okay, Frank, uh, let's hear your sound wave. And we're just doing it in the office on a, um, I don't know what you call that, but it was a little silver machine with beautiful microphones, but not a huge studio. So when you hear it bare, like, uh, This is Soundwave. I am here, my liege. Do not worry. I will report back Megatron. 
nothing. Uh -huh. But if you move in on that mic <laughs> and really relax the voice, it gets very large. So I remember Michael saying, ah, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> guys, what do you think? And they were going, <laughs> because it's just a weird thing that you can do with your voice to make it translate. So you don't always have to yell and mm -hmm. scream really loud to get those subtle emotions. He knows, how, he knows how to make mic work. No, he knows how to make, uh, he knows how to work a mic. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> or, or Michael Bay too, work, work him. <laughs> and for like Soundwave, like I'm a fan of his voice in G1, like mm. Soundwave Superior, you know, like yes. that robotic voice. Did you try to add that or, or did you try to have a new take? Uh, when you did the film? Uh, actually, you mean the dialogue or? Or just like the way his sound. voice sounds. Actually, the sound uh, that we did in G1, they used um, some kind of uh, vocal cord, or vo uh, not vocal cord, but uh, what do they call those yeah, things? Cord? Voc uh, vocalizer, whatever. Yeah, something. But they used yeah. uh, you know, a mechanical technique thrown onto my voice. And if you go over .08, oh, oh, that's a breathalyzer. Vo <laughs> <laughs> voice quarter. <laughs> Voice quarter. Voice quarter. No. But uh, <laughs> combining those two, the, that's how we did that. But no, I think for Soundwave in the feature, it was pretty much bare, but with maybe just a little bit of extra sound thrown into it. But still moving in. That's great. Into that microphone. Sweet. And I got one more question. Uh, I'm sorry, Frank, I, I all know. the time. I'd like <laughs> to tell you about Frank Welker, the early years. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can keep on going. No, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I know you didn't get a chance to voice uh, Megatron for all of the films, and so just being a part of it, uh, did you get to have that feeling? Yeah, you know, like finally uh, I get to do this. Well, if you've if you've watched closely, you've watched Megatron transform throughout the years. He always finally gets his way. Mm, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was Frank's plan all along. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Well, all right. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, so it's been a pleasure. Oh, Thank you. Can I like fist bump? There you go. go. Yeah. <laughs>